as a liaison for the Assembly of Canonical Orthodox Bishops of the United States of America to the Orthodox Christian Prison Ministry, I work closely with the staff and the board of directors of this ministry. They are all deeply committed to bringing the light of Christ to all of those who are living in the dark world of a prison. There are Orthodox men and women in our country's prisons and jails who desperately need our help. There are many men and women in prison who have discovered the Holy Orthodox Christian faith and truly want to grow in it. OCPM is the ministry that is reaching out to all of these precious souls. It is my blessing to recommend this important ministry to you. As you learn more about the work of OCPM, I pray that you will want to become a part of what we are doing in this country. I've had many clergy and ladies say to me, come on, Father, not one of my people. But the truth of the matter is that more and more Orthodox Christians are going into prison and coming back from prison. It's surprising to learn that the United States is the most incarcerated country in the world. In 2011, there were over two million adults incarcerated. Sadly, we are number one in that category. According to the International Center for Prison Studies, the USA has an incarceration rate of 730 per 100,000 people. The incarceration rate in other countries simply does not compare. For instance, the rate in Mexico is 201 per 100,000 people. Turkey, it's 168. Lebanon, it's 122, China, 121, and Greece at 111. These numbers put the 730 for the USA in perspective. Is your church ready to reach out to those who are arrested and find themselves in prison? It is estimated that over 3,500 Orthodox Christians will be coming out of prison into our communities each year. Some will be coming home to their own church, but many men and women will be paroled to other cities. They will seek out the nearest Orthodox Church to become a part of that community. Some may have embraced Orthodoxy while in prison and are coming to a church because they discovered and fell in love with the true faith. Is your church ready to receive them with the love of Christ? Your parish will be touched by someone being arrested, someone living behind bars, and or someone coming to one of your parishes right out of prison. If it hasn't already taken place, it will happen very soon. Now is the time for our clergy and our faithful to prepare. Will your parish be ready to welcome prostitute next Sunday? Will your parish be ready to welcome a murderer and a robber next Sunday? Hostile and unlovely people can and do become saints. It is the goal of OCPM that all our faithful will be able to see everyone, not as they are, but as they could become through the Holy Orthodox faith. More women are serving time than ever before. And of those women, 70% of them are struggling with physical, sexual, and emotional abuse. 75% of them are struggling with mental health issues. They're in a harsh prison climate that often re-victimizes and re-traumatizes. And we as women have got to get involved. Positive relationships has been shown to decrease recidivism rates. Um, helping them feel cared about, loved, helping them know that they're still valuable in this world, even if you've been hurt in the past or told you weren't important through sexual abuse or, or physical abuse. We as women have to communicate to them that they are people too, and we have to care about them and love them. Um, and if we can do that through 
cards, if we can do that through book clubs, if we can do that through uh, baking cookies and sitting down with them. All reminders that we're all human and, and we're all of one family. Um, that should be our mission. When a representative from OCPM visits a person in prison, the entire Orthodox Church visits Jesus in prison. Here's just some of what OCPM is doing in this country. Works within all of the jurisdictions in a truly pan-Orthodox manner. OCPM ministers to many men and women who are in prison or who have recently been released. Many have embraced the Orthodox faith while others who were already Orthodox may have found their way back to the church. OCPM also trains clergy and lay people across the country to minister and help care for the spiritual needs of those in prison and those coming out of prison. As a result, many of the men and women whose lives have been touched by OCPM are now out of prison and leading productive, Christ-centered lives as active members of their local parishes. Yes, you know, during my 41-year career with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, um, having progressed from patrolman to, to sheriff, uh, and, and actually having spent eight of those years within the Department of Corrections, I saw very clearly the importance of outside community volunteers and, and service people coming into our facilities to provide services that, that we could never do. Uh, it, you needed that uh, different perspective from the community. And, and I thought what was very important about that was the fact that 76% of the people that are incarcerated today will be out in less than 60 days. Now, when you think about that, that drives home the, the fact that corrections cannot be about controlling behavior. If, if all you're doing is controlling behavior, who's gonna control them when they're back out in the community in less than 60 days? And so it became very clear that corrections could not be just about controlling behavior. It truly had to be about shaping behavior. And, and I can tell you, I, I saw no other programs more effective than prison ministries in changing people's lives. Nothing changes hearts like holy Jesus Christ. God, holy, mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. So are you ready today to be asked to come to a prison or jail? To effectively assist one of your families who have someone going to prison? To effectively minister to someone coming out of prison to your church? To effectively help people who have committed horrid crimes in their past? It is the goal of OCPM to help all Orthodox Christians to be prepared for the inevitable encounter the church will have with the prisons and jails of our country. To help OCPM achieve this goal, we offer inspirational retreats, training seminars, and regular day-to-day -day assistance. All of the materials that OCPM has produced are offered freely to those in prison. This includes all of our books, Orthodox Christian Catechism, The Preaching of the Apostles, A Seeker of Truth, a treatise to prove that no one can harm the man who does not harm himself. Our Orthodox Christian prayer book, a book on readings, journey, prison ministry training guide for clergy and lady thinking about beginning a prison ministry. OCPM has published books and pamphlets and has distributed more than one million copies, fasting in great Lent, beliefs and practices, prayers for today, and battling evil thoughts. Over two million icon prayer cards have been printed and distributed. Many of the men and women in prison use these icons to build their own home iconostas, where they have their own daily prayers. Orthodox Christian Prison Ministry needs your help to care for the men and women living in the darkness of the prisons across this country. OCPM can only send these materials and icons at no cost if we all join together. I hope you will join with the Assembly of Canonical Orthodox Bishops of the United States and America and working as one with the Orthodox Christian Prison Ministry 
to bring the light of Christ to those who live in the darkness of a prison or jail. God bless you, and may God bless the wonderful work of Orthodox Christian prison ministry.